How's it going, Ernie Winters? Here with some more Warriors Orochi 3 Ultimate, and we're gonna finally get to play as QB. And Hundun is in town. I don't know if Hundun would always be here. Like, what if I never unlocked him in Gauntlet mode? Would he still appear in town anyway, just for conversation? Or people would probably be like, how do you unlock this guy if they never played Gauntlet mode? I find you to be most beautiful. I can't stop looking at you. Perhaps when I'm disguised as a human, but looking like this, I can't help but think you're being insincere. Why would you think that? I like the way you look now. Yeah, he's, you know, it's... They should just totally hook up and make little demon babies, I suppose. Little weird flying foxes. That would be ridiculous. Flying four-armed foxes? I guess four-armed is gonna work. I, I don't know, man. It'd be kind of crazy, though. So... Now that that is Dune, we shall begin our battle disturbance in Liang Province. Kyubi has been confined within the Mirror Realm. Obtain reflections of officers that can serve as a diversion against the enemy. So we've got Kyubi, Orochi, and Orochi X. Dun dun dun. Kyubi sealed in the divine mirror found the tedium unbearable here there were only reflections the negative emotions that fed her existence being unable to form the mirror was truly a cell that could hold her in perpetuity even so she thought of a way to amuse herself she would stir up trouble in the realm of the reflections and exact revenge upon the images of those who had humiliated her Wow, that's a kind of a sad way to get back at him using her tail to create the appearance of Orochi she she closed then upon the reflections. interesting 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 uh, try and best me if you dare Warriors, I'm the greatest destructive force this world has ever known. From your imposters, they are quite impressive. It is no ordinary feat to manipulate the Serpent King himself in such a fashion. This world no longer has the nourishment that I require. I'm no longer able to freely wield sorcery like before. Oh damn, so she definitely has to get out of here. She is weakening. Torning, tormenting people and the mystics with reflections was merely for fun and required little of my strength. If only I had a servant to obey my every whim, I wonder if there is anybody suitable. So we're just jumping into any battle here. <laughs> what is going on? So we got some cool stuff, a little buttercup sash. Yes, yeah, she's promoted quite a bit. I use her a little bit in gauntlet mode, and uh, yeah. And uh, Orochi X, he got promoted twice. Yeah, he's from my promotion video, if you guys seen that. So let's begin and let's see how this goes for us, because uh, what exactly are we gonna be doing here? Just taking over people, or? We're just fighting everyone out here. Ah, oh, they want me to kill the yellows. The yellows first. Defeat all the enemy offices. A nine-tailed fox. Here, I just pressed R1. Look at these warriors that I summoned. Hell yeah. <laughs> Who is that? I saw... I saw... Uh... Ah, both of my Rochis came out or just one? Another R1. Oh, I got three now. Hey. <laughs> get to make little clones and then your flying R1 is invincibility so no one can hurt me now I guess you can't really see here but I mean it, it is happening okay um, I would prefer using both of her R1s over her uh, Muso personally I've played her a little bit already I like how these uh, these guys are stopping to fight each other to, to fight me like, what did I do there we go Anyway, this is a newer character. Let's play someone else. Yeah. 
the Night Guan's War. Dark ball of energy. That three piece, man. Oh, this is the move that cancels your Muso and all that stuff. It's like that little beam. It'll uh, take your Muso meter away, your uh, your big special attack meter, everything, man. It's it's nuts that technique. <laughs> Damn it. Regular Orochi, he's a he's a monster, man. I think regular Orochi can revive once as well. If I remember correctly. <laughs> Standard R1, man. This team is just nuts. Why they give me these guys? Huh? Flying R1? Yeah. Ouch. Man, that is such a cool move. Personally, I don't really play as Orochi much at all. So seeing this is pretty cool. Oh man, <laughs> that was pretty cool too. Uh, where do we want to head? We are actually crushing so many people. Your power's a gift from the heavens. I love that guy's voice, man. Let's go down this one. Who's the fastest? I believe you are. Uh, we can use a moose over here with standard Orochi. He's defected to my forces, huh? That's interesting. Let's try this out. What is your Muso? Oh, I think Orochi X is is a very similar one as well. Hello? Hello, I'm Orochi X. I believe it is similar. Oh yeah, it is. This is the same one. Actually, it's a little bit stronger. Uh, that looks a little stronger to me. I don't know about you guys, but uh... Oh, what? <laughs> oh, one of them doesn't have enough Muso meter to complete the combination. Gotcha. Gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. You little flames. Catch these flames. Whoa, who the hell is this? That guy went in, man. I love this move right here. The three piece, it's so, so ridiculous. Um, chances are in the future I may try a chaos solo with this character. Maybe not chaos. I, don't, I think the character may be too strong for chaos mode at this moment. But uh, once I'm done with the story on this game, I think the only thing I'll do on this game is maybe chaos playthroughs or something. Um, with some characters that I like. Maybe not every character. I'm just going to go for ones that I really like, like personally. And uh, I think that'll be good enough. He'll be summon some people. Who do we summon? We summon standard Orochi. And that's it. Can I make... If you guys are close enough, can I make another double of you? I keep getting standard Orochi. Get some invincibility. Man, standard Orochi is just crushing them. Having a double is nuts. Um, where shall we go? This yellow force has been crushed completely. Who, uh, who have we tried with the combination yet? Alright. Alrighty. Uh, so it doesn't work with him. Let's try standard Orochi. Oh! I thought I saw something different. Hold on, try that again. It looked like it was gonna be different, and then it, it went back to being normal. Like, it had like a really weird angle. Maybe she's gonna initiate it. That would make more sense anyway to me. Oh, 
For some reason, I thought they had a special combo together. If they don't have one together, it's gotta be Hundun. Hundun, her and Hundun, and maybe Orochi X. That would be nuts. Jumping charge, and jumping basic attack. <laughs> I feel like I have to fight these piglets. So. Yeah, fight for me, friends. Oh, did I just summon two Orochis there? Look like I did. Holy crap. Maybe we'll get some more stages out of this, you know? There's, there's some, uh... Here's some invincibility. And here's some trooper loonies. Hey, it's Wei Yan! Oh, you know what? We, we haven't seen her. Did we see the Musa already? I don't remember. We did or not. Next batch of uh, officers, we'll check it out. These are just her standard attacks. I don't know why. I could have sworn. You guys really don't have a combo together? For some reason, it, it would make sense if they did, you know? Let me, let me go through the characters again. I always feel like Orochi, like, it looks like it's gonna start. Like, it looks so weird at the beginning, like at the starting, and then it just goes back to normal, you know? Hello, Kambe. Spirit Bomb! Oh, that was not a spirit. That was a big-ass fist. Fist of the North Star Bomb! There you go. Calm Bay, it's... Actually, I'm not even surprised that you survived that. Oh. Oh, you like fighting with Big Fist too, doesn't he? That's right. In Samurai Warriors 4, for sure, that's all we always see. Um... Total destruction! <laughs> oh man, Generic Faja? <laughs> Here. I like, I just love how this move looks. Boom! It like stuns them, it slows down time and everything. So cool, man. Um, are you guys gonna be the boss of the stage, or we can move so this crowd? Oh man, that jiggle! So Lucian, I don't want to kill everyone. I'll probably do a Super Saiyan Muso on uh, Liu Bei. I'll save it. Oh my God! How dare you get more Muso meter? Just kill, just torture this crowd of enemies. Such a boring Muso, in my opinion, anyway. This is one messed up squad. Like, this squad shouldn't even exist. They're not allowed to hang out together. Liu Bei is going to survive all of this because I never got to hit him. He was doing Muso the entire time. Oh, wow. Uh, apparently, we tapped him and he got caught in it still. Or he was just too close to the blast. Liu Baby. I like how we just levitate everywhere. Woo. What do we have here? Why have you let me live? I do not remember begging for my life. I'll let you live if you agree to serve me. See, this is leading me to, be to believe that there's going to be more stages now. Because now she wants to talk. There is no ending video or nothing. Let me see. You sure are a tough little fox without a doubt. There'll be plenty of treasure. <laughs> All about the treasure. I shall agree to follow your lead. She may be the one most suited to conquering the land. That sounds good. 
She doesn't care. <laughs> Come with me. We must recruit even more followers to my side. Well, that's going to be it for the slaughter. <laughs> that was quite abusive. But um, that'll be it for this episode, guys. Thanks for checking it out. And uh, I thought this was the last one. I guess it's not. Maybe there'll be more. But uh, we'll see, won't we? Anyway, thanks for watching. I'll catch you all later. See ya.